There was no mistaking the sound of gunfire, nor the chaos created from it. This eyewitness watched it all unfold as he scrambled from his seat in the balcony. They're firing machine guns, they're shooting into the crowd, he said. And to mask their escape, the attackers set fire to the building. It was the deadliest terrorist attack in Moscow in over two decades. Despite the war in Ukraine, Muscovites have lived in relative peace. I'm a grizzled old journalist and I'm shocked and, uh, you know, discombobulated by it very much. Uh, and I think r average Russians are. And I think that this peacetime veneer that we've been living in for the past couple of years will be over now. The U.S. and Canada had warned its citizens two weeks ago extremists were planning an attack. Earlier this week, Vladimir Putin dismissed the warnings from the West as a means to destabilize Russia. <inaudible> Russian state TV is airing interrogation video of the alleged gunmen, who they say were hired for the attack. And Russian officials say the gunmen were headed for the Ukrainian border, adding grist to the Russian narrative Ukraine was behind the massacre. This despite emphatic denials from Ukraine and the Islamic State claiming responsibility. Look, there's a lot of wish fulfillment involved when these things happen. Uh, people want it to be a certain way. They already start shaping the narrative, and that's what's happening here. Putin has vowed to punish those responsible, whomever he decides that is. Microlight, Global News, Toronto.